And now with the expected emergence of a new administration in 2023, a pro-poor organization in on Monday stated that the importance to ensure the attention of prospective leaders who are aspiring for different political offices is to give maximum priority to the raging increase in the number of poor people in Nigeria. Recall that the current administration said it will ensure that it leaves 100 million Nigerians out of poverty by 2030. But the current statistics show that about 95.1 million Nigerians, which is close to half of the country's population, still live below the poverty line. Hence, a do one thing campaign by this group urging all political leaders to refocus so as to stop the state of worsening poverty across the country. In consolidation, of course, of Nigeria's government's efforts of reducing the number of poor people by half, our organization, Push Africa um, for Youth Integration and Development Initiative, is pleased to announce the Do One Thing campaign nationwide. Now, this campaign is created to call on the attention of the prospective leaders who are aspiring to vow for various political office to give priority attention to the raging increase in the number of poor people in the country and to show to the Nigerian people that they have a practical and actionable plan to solve the prevailing, uh, prevailing poverty problems in their various constituents, starting, of course, with the office of the president. As much as we recognize the current administration's effort in terms of the will shown by Mr. President, uh, there is a need to troubleshoot the current efforts to check if the solutions we are currently administering is indeed preferring the solution we need as a people. We need to check to see if it is really working because the numbers in the statistics are not saying so. Now is a good time to check. Now is a good time to act more seriously, especially now that a new dispensation is looming. We need to, we need to be intentional. We need to be strategic. We must be deliberate. We must be practical and we must, of course, make this issue of poverty our number one priority. Therefore, we are calling on all hands to be on deck. We have taken the initiative to launch the Do One Thing campaign to create a platform for the most hit by poverty, to tell their own stories as it affects them, so as to show the depth of the realities that they live in. We believe that when poor people tell their own stories and expose the vulnerable, the vulnerable state in which they live, maybe and just maybe it will be glaring enough for our leaders to see how serious the problems are and hopefully be forced to take drastic and actionable steps towards solving these problems. The pro poor organization also stated that poverty is linked to many negative vices, which include insecurity, therefore needs to be addressed urgently. As we all know, poverty is linked with many negative vices such as inadequate nutrition and food insecurity, lack of access to health care, insecurity, homelessness, unsafe neighborhoods. And of course, you and I know it is also linked to the ugly head called corruption, which adversely affects or impacts our nation. The main goal of the Do One Thing campaign is, one, to promote social to promote social economic justice for poor people in Nigeria, to advocate that the people formulate and adopt a sus uh, sustainable plans and policies to help redress the poverty, unemployment, health, and housing problems of the poor throughout the country. Three, to create a platform where poor people can tell their own stories, be agents, participants, and beneficiaries of sustainable economic growth in their communities, Organize fine minds to highlight and find solutions to, to the many problems facing the country's poor. And finally, to advocate economic and fundamental human rights for poor Nigerians. Now, for the next 10 years, our activities will mostly be to engage and articulate problems of the poor in this country in a manner that drives us towards recommending sustainable solutions for poverty reduction in Nigeria.